Hey guys, I'm back. Let's try, let's try this again. Um, I hope everybody that was just on jumps on now again. So if you guys come on, let me know that you're here. Um, we were just talking about how Mercury retrograde affects the electronics and literally everything went dead. Like, um, hey, I see a couple people coming back <laughs> because that was totally weird. We were just talking about that and it totally cut out. So crazy, crazy, right? Energy is weird. Like that's what happens sometimes. Um, hey, I'm glad you're back. That was so funny. Like so crazy and perfect timing, right? To say that energy affects everything. So here's the thing I want to get out to. Okay. So why, why we're talking on this and why this just happened. Um, that everybody like they're scientifically starting to prove that like the solar flares and these kind of things all affect the energy. Like a lot of people don't want to agree to it or don't want to believe it or whatever, but I feel like everything is changing. I feel like the planet, the, the energy of the planet, like if you look at the way things work on the planet, um, they have like a base thing that like, um, actually measures the vibration of the core of the earth. It's changing. It's speeding up. It's getting faster. So it would totally make sense that, the, the way that I explain it, because to me, I have to make it super simple and super easy to understand. And like, I just need to dumb it down a little bit for myself, right? So this is how I personally deal with understanding the way that the planets affect us and the way that everything like that is done. Anybody that works in a hospital or with elementary kids or even at a high school, like everybody that works with those people or in those places, fire departments, um, police departments, anybody that works out there in the public, they know that full moons affect everybody, right? Crazy stuff happens on a full moon. So that being said, if the full moon can affect the ocean, the tide of the ocean, right, is affected by the moon, by the moon cycles, why would we not think as humans that we would be affected by that? Okay, so now take into account all the planets. So Mercury is going retrograde. What that means is it's almost like if you're passing a car on the highway, you know how for a moment it almost looks like the car is actually going backwards, but it's because you're passing it. That's kind of what happens with the way we turn around the planets, right? So like the earth is spinning, but we're also the whole universe is spinning. So like all of the planets are, are going, but when we start to pass a planet, it makes it look like the other planets going backwards. It's really not, but everything has a magnetic field, right? So it's going to kind of feel like it's tweaking us or turning us just a little bit. I think that's why the electronics get messed up because it's that energetic magnetic pull. Whether that's right or not, I don't know, but in my mind that makes sense. I try to look at things a little bit scientifically, but then also just trust that it is what it is and sometimes shit just happens. So, oops, sorry for that bad word. Hope there's no kiddos on here. Uh, but anyway, so sometimes stuff just happens, right? So we've got to be in that place of, okay, where is this a big deal? Where is this something we need to look at and where is it just stuff happens, right? So it was kind of ironic that my phone cut out right in that moment, but okay. Um, anyway, so that being said, the event, I want to get back to that because, um, like I said, I was not even going to deal with it. I wasn't even going to address the event. Um, but in my talk last weekend, I was at the body, mind, spirit fair, which is a holistic fair. Um, I did a, a talk about embodied grace, which is most of you probably know at this point, that's my program. Embodied grace to me is about a learning how to connect to your own soul, going deep within, connecting with your divine self and knowing that you can have a direct relationship with God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. To me, it's God. I'm Christian. I fully believe there's one supreme being. I fully believe that Jesus came here. All of those things. I feel like Jesus will help everybody. I don't care if you're Buddhist or Hindu or what religion or no religion. I think if you ask Jesus to help you, he will help you. Um, so that being said, I feel like this event that's coming is just going to be an awakening. But in my talk, I was talking about that and somebody specifically asked me, what do you think about the event? And that's how people like all over Facebook, YouTube, whatever, if you look, it's the event and it's in quotes. Okay. Um, in the channeling I did with Mary Magdalene, you guys, if you're on and you have questions, please let me know because I, I have, I feel like I have so much coming like that I want to talk about that I don't want to forget anything, but I also want to answer questions if you have them. So when I was channeling Mary Magdalene a couple of weeks, well, a week and a half ago, whatever day it was that she came through, she said, turbulent times are coming, but basically the messages don't have any fear and hold like steadfast to your faith, like hold on to your faith. Know that on a spiritual level, everything is fine. Know that God's got it. Know that this is all on purpose um, and know that we're really going to be okay. All right. Now, that being said, I... 
I would love nothing more than a huge event where like the sky turns purple or something, right? Or rainbow colored or something. Um, no, the event is actually something different than the retrograde. So the retrograde is just something that happens, but there's in the metaphysical world, world right now, there's all of these people talking about this event that's coming. And that's literally what they're saying is the event in quotes. So I wasn't going to address it, but because I was specifically asked about it, I wanted to bring it up here. Hey, Cindy. Um, so this event... I don't feel like it's going to be like some big, huge, major thing. Like, I don't feel like airplanes are going to fall out of the sky, which I've heard. I don't think that, you know, I mean, if anything, I would feel like maybe it's a big storm that kind of goes through. I feel like more than anything, it's going to be a wave of light. Um, I feel like it's nothing more than just like a mass shift, a mass awakening, a mass like being called to your gifts because every single one of us on this planet has some sort of gift, whether we know it or not, right? And like I said in my talk the other day, every single one of us, no matter who we are, we can play baseball. One of the guys in the audience said, I would totally strike out. It doesn't matter, you could still play. It would just be that you strike out. You just wouldn't hit the ball, right? So you could still play the game even if you're not good at it, you can still play it. So that being said, I feel like whatever this is, I feel like we don't need to be afraid of it. I feel like the energy that people are feeling like in the last few days, I've talked to so many people who are like, you know, I've had all this anxiety. I feel really stressed out. I don't know what's going on. Like they feel like they're out of control. And so what I told my friends, hi, thank you. Um, what I've told my friends is like this morning I was talking to one in particular and she even said, she goes, it's been like three or four days and I'm just like out of control, like stress, anxiety, like high anxiety. And I told her, I said, there's a lot of spiritual activity on the planet right now. Okay, again, nothing to be afraid of. It just is, right? Um, I told her, I said, when you're empathic, which we know that she is, and I know a lot of my friends are, and I know a lot of people that are on this, a lot of people that follow me are empathic. Whether you understand that or not, what that means is that you feel things on a different level than a lot of other people feel. Um, and I'm sorry, my face is really washed out. I'm by the window. Um... When you feel that, and I, the reason I want to shift it is because I don't want anybody thinking, oh, look at her, half of it's light. Like, it's nothing like that right here. Like, I'm not channeling anything right now. This is just me talking to you as a person, letting you know what's going on, okay? Um, now, some of you that see might see my guides around. They're always around. That, but I just didn't want that light on my face to make anybody think that there was something there. Because I know a lot of times it's just a camera and then people think there was something and it's not. Um, so... Getting back to this event and what's going on right now, what I told my friend this morning is it's almost like you're in a really crowded room, and but there's nobody there, right? So if you ever go into a really crowded place and that kind of bothers you or makes you feel uncomfortable or whatever, it's like that, only it's spirit, so there's nobody there. It's the spiritual energy. It doesn't mean that there's spirits in your house or spirits in your room or anything like that. It just means that the energy around us feels like that. It's like being in a really crowded place with a lot of people and not knowing, you know what I mean? Like, but because it's spiritual, you can't see anything there that would make sense of the energy. So does that make sense of everything? And yeah, politically, we're being shifted too. Now, I'm not going to talk politics um, because I have done that in the past and it caused a lot of things. I'm not, it's not a, what I am talking about is not political at all. Um, it's more, yes, I will say that whether you believe it or not, angels are at work in politics. You've got to see beyond the what's showing up and what's on the media because we're being called to wake up. We're being called to look at things a little bit more intensely. I think some things are going to be shaken up that maybe were hidden or, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know because I'm not reading politics. I don't go there. That's not something I do. But I will say that, yes, everything on this planet is being shifted right now. So, um, I like Stephanie just said, it's truly exciting to see when the event happens. Like, and yeah, I feel totally peaceful about it too. Um, I do feel like everything is shifting. I feel like whatever this event is will come almost like a wave of enlightenment. Um, I would really love it to be something big that everybody could see because I feel like that would be important for people, um, because so many people like need that physical proof. Right. But what I want to tell you the biggest thing that I can do is to settle everybody's nerves about this event 
it shouldn't be scary. It shouldn't be anything that we're like freaking out about. Um, it's just processing the crap that we don't need anymore, right? So what are some old emotions that you don't need anymore? What are some fears that you can let go of? Um, what is bothering you right now? Like if there's, if there's anxiety around, what is the anxiety? Like, is it emotion or are you empathic? Like, are you feeling things that you don't know how to explain? Like all of that is, all of that is valid. So that's kind of what this event is. Like, I don't know when it's going to happen. I know there's been some people who say the end of the month, some people it's going to think it's going to happen on Easter weekend because that's, you know, a holiday and it's a, it's a good weekend. Um, Kathy, I don't know when the event is going to be. And it could be that the event is all of this next few weeks of just people shifting and people being awakened to things. And the, the whole thing with awakening is just looking at things differently, right? So like it's, I feel like we are on this quest as a whole planet to get back to the spiritual life, like spiritual ways of being, because especially in the United States, we're so busy. We work all the time. It's on the back burner. Charlotte, I love all your comments. Yes, it's definitely stirring. Like that's a perfect way. It's like this pot is being stirred. And so people are going to have to figure out what to do with it. Right. Um, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Again, I don't, I don't feel like anybody should be afraid of it. Um, if you're seeing the event and you're kind of wondering what's going on and you're freaking out, like the best thing I can tell you is don't just take a deep breath, take a deep breath and be okay with, okay, well, things are different. What do I need to look at different? And what I would focus on is what are the lower vibrations that you're the lower vibrations, meaning, um, anger, fear, resentment, depression, any of those lower things, we're going to be shaken. You know, it's like shake this shit up. Sorry. There goes that word again. I hope no little kids are on here. If I do, I, I apologize. Tell them I shouldn't talk that way if your kids are watching me. Um, but it's going to get stirred up, right? So it's almost like we've got to shake it up to shake it loose. Does that make sense? And I know it sounds cheesy, but shake it off. Like, it's so funny because even there are songs about it and stuff. But if you think way back to way back when everybody say, oh, just shake it off. You're okay. I really feel like there's something to that. Like literally like it's shaking it loose. Um, animals, when they get in fear, they run, they have that pump of adrenaline and you know what? They shake until the adrenaline settles. So somebody's on my page again. It's posting my page again. So I don't know who's on my page, but somebody is literally like just posted ha 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 from my page. So weird. Um, anyway, so that being said, like, it's literally like a shake it off kind of thing. Um, okay. It's my sister. Cause because she has access to my page. Sometimes I was like, what is going on? Why is it saying that I'm posting on there? Because I'm not, no, I'm not hacked. It's my sister. I forgot when I was on vacation, I gave her, um, access to my page so she could help me out. So she does kind of help sometimes when I'm on vacation, just making sure that everything's running clear. Um, Anyway, so that that's good. I'm glad to know it's somebody <laughs> somebody that I know that's on my page because I was like, okay, Mercury retrograde, here we go. Um, anyway, so does anybody have any questions? I would love to answer specific questions about the event if you have any. Again, if you just start coming in, watch the replay. Yeah, kind of hacked by my sister. Um, watch the replay. The, the biggest message I want to get over today is... If you're hearing about this event, don't lend any fear to it. Don't lend any anxiety to it. Don't lend any, you know, any of those kind of anything, <laughs> like any of the lower vibrations. The words that have been coming up, and in my group we've talked about this, but the last couple months it's been joyful anticipation. So things are going to change. Like things are changing, period. I can feel something building. I can feel the anxiety. Um, I can feel, you know, that there is something coming. Like I do feel that, but I don't feel like it's going to be, I feel like what I told him in the, in the, th in the talk that I did last weekend. And I think I have, um, the recording now I need to look at it and just see if I can put it on YouTube or not. Um, I feel like it's going to be a big awakening. I feel like it's going to be like a light wave. Now, whether we'll see it or not, but what I'm seeing personally and how I answered it in the, the talk that I gave this weekend was it's almost like a great big 
wave of light. And like I grew up on the southeastern plains of Colorado. So like you see a storm building for miles and miles and it's the most magnificent thing ever. Like you can see it coming for miles. So I almost feel like it's going to be a storm like that, but it's just going to be this brilliant, beautiful energy. And it's just going to come through and kind of clear some stuff right now. The thing about that is we're human. So we have a lot of crap to clear. So that's going to stir up emotions. It's going to make people go crazy. Like it's going to make people upset. It's going to make people angry. And the only way to get that anger and the upset out is to shake it loose. So, um, let's see. I have a couple questions. Somebody said I, it would be cleansing. I feel the same way. Like I feel like when it happens, I hope it's like an event so that I can just soak it up. Like I literally want to be there and just be like, open my arms and just soak up the energy and just, it feels amazing to me, like amazing love. But if you're in a place where you live in fear and if you're in a place where you still have anger all the time and if you're in a place where you don't know what the heck is going on in your life, it's not going to feel that comfortable. Um, somebody is asking, will I get specific answers? Will I get answers to a specific situation from this event? Um, I think you can always get specific answers if you just trust in divine, like trust in spirit, trust that your angels are watching you, trust that they're helping us, right? Um, yes, it could. Like if this is a cleansing wave, like I feel like it will be because that's what it feels like to me is like this big wave of energy that's going to kind of clear some stuff up, right? It will have to knock loose some of the other stuff. So if people around you are getting you know, cranky or anxiety or any of that stuff, like the best you can do is take care of yourself through it. Drink extra water. I'm a water drinker anyway, but I'm telling you, I've like almost doubled my water intake just because I feel like I have to. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still drinking my coffee, but I have been drinking a lot, lot more water. Um, does it have anything with the world ending in July? Oh my God. I, that would be amazing. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm ready. I'll go home anytime. <laughs> but no, I don't think the world's going to end. I mean, that would be, I mean, huge, but I don't see that happening in my lifetime, right? Um, of course, I don't look for that either, but no, I don't think that the world's going to end. Um, might end as we know it, right? So there might be something happen that things change dramatically, which would, again, I think be a big thing. Like, it, so I'm not going to talk politics, but I remember when Trump got voted in, I had said, don't look at this as a fear thing. Look at this as a, a big thing. Like this is a good thing because this is going to shake some things up. And I know I made some people really, really mad when I said that because they're like, this is the end of it. Like he's going to ruin everything. And I'm like, no, he's, he's actually knocking some stuff loose and waking some things up and some things will be revealed. Like I have no idea what particularly his part is in this. Um, but I know like the end of the world thing, I don't really think that world's going to end. I feel like it may end as we know it. Maybe that just means simply in your own life, you decide to make changes where you're no longer going to live the life that you've been living and that you're ready for something better. So maybe that's the end of the world. Maybe the end of the world is I am no longer living like this and I'm changing my life. That would be the end of the world as you know it, right? Because it's going to change everything. When you finally get in that place to where you're ready to change your life and you're like, I'm not giving into this half crap anymore. I'm living life full on, full of grace, full of joy. I'm, I'm living it my way moving forward. That changes your life. So, um, and somebody saying that they're, uh, they're irritable and angry without much of a reason. It's just knocking stuff loose, right? So, all right, guys, I'm going to have to jump off. I would love to answer more questions. If you're watching the replay and if you have questions, let me know. I will get back to them in a few hours when I get back. Um, I would be happy to answer any questions that you have, If and I'll do the best I can. If I don't know, I'll say I don't know. But just wanted to come on and talk about the event, right, in quotes, because that's what everybody's talking about right now. The biggest thing I can tell you is no fear. Like, it's all going to be okay. Um, I feel like the biggest thing is that we're being called to really get in touch with our spiritual side, get back to some basics in life, you know, get back to loving people more. That's kind of the big thing. And I really, really, be, I hope it's a cool event. Like I hope it's something awesome and that people are awakened by it, but don't be surprised if within that awakening time, people get a little bit cranky, right? So just, just take care of yourself. If they're cranky, know that it's not you. Um, maybe, maybe protect yourself. I talk a lot about bubbling up, like putting a bubble around you, like bubble boy, so that you're kind of protected from everybody else's crap. Because when there's a lot of that energy around, a lot of us that are empathic feel it. So I uh, love all you guys. Thanks for being on with me. 
and um, let me know if you have any more questions. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.